So painting with black primer first and the first base coat that I'm going to be using is Vallejo German Camouflage Pale Brown. So that's for the first coat of the uniform. Now believe it or not, I'm going to use this brush. I usually use it for dry brushing. You don't have to be too tidy at painting at this stage and cleaning up later on. Just gradually build up the layers and the colour to be satisfied with the result. There you go. Great looking paint job. Yeah, so it's almost dry brushing. Well, it is dry brushing. Waff and SS sometimes have field grey trousers. They didn't have the camouflage bottoms sometimes. Most of them I decided to make camouflaged on the final figure. Yeah, so I've left, left this trousers black. So I'll be painting them field grey. Okay, right, we'll get on with the next stage. Yeah, the next colour that I'm using it's German camouflage beige World War II. It came from a set of um, paints, German uniforms and armour, something like that. That's what I'll be using. And what I'll be painting is the little, um, just above the boot, they have like a cover. We call them putties, or putties, putties. It's just to stop the mud from getting into the top of the boots, really, and to stop the uh, bottom of the trousers flapping about. So they'll be painted that German beige colour. This time I'll be using a finer brush, so I won't be dry brushing this. Yeah, you can see it from there, I think. That's one done. And some of them, where they've got the ammo pouches, that will also be painted the German beige available. Yeah, that will be painted German beige as well. So if they're carrying those extra ammo pouches for the machine guns of the STG 42s, 44s I mean, they always get that one now. Yeah, so I'll give that a light coat as well. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Vallejo leather brown and that's for the boots and also the gun straps get painted leather brown but I'm gonna leave that until a later stage so I'll be just painting the boots for now Right, the next colour that I'm using is Vallejo German Camouflage Extra Dark Green. And that's going to be for the dark green patches on the uniform. Yeah, just make like an oblong shape in dark green in different areas of the uniform. But you'll need to leave some space for the next colour because it'll be a lighter green as well. I also paint the gas mask case dark green as extra dark green as well. Some of the gas mask covers have got like a, I think it was a poncho that I used to wrap round. I also paint the what they call the bread bag extra dark green. That gets a, a coating as well. Also there's a few with the helmet without the cover, so it's just a plain helmet. I paint those extra dark green as well. Usually you can tell which helmets have the cover on them. They're like markings, whereas uh, helmets without the cover are just plain. You can actually see the cover on the helmet if you look at it carefully. So you've got to 
be able to spot that as well. brush that I'm using at the minute is uh, on its last legs, bristles are uh, pretty done, yeah that should do. Right that's the extra dark green done there. Right the next paint that I'm going to be using is Vallejo German Camouflage Bright Green. I'll be just doing the same thing again, like an oblong patch here and there on top of the pale brown. Oh Maggie, you alright? Right, we're going to start using the pale brown again to put some little dots onto the dark green patches on the uniform. Just put about two or three dots by the dark patches. So I'm going to do that on all the dark patches now. Now it's back to using the German camouflage extra dark green. I'll be putting two or three little dots of dark extra dark green on the bright green patches. So bright green patches and the extra dark green dots. Right, that's the orange ochre spots finished now. Let's give you a quick look at that. Okay, the next colour that I'm going to be using is Vallejo German Field Grey. I'll be using the Field Grey to paint the trousers and the cap. And that's all the Field Grey that I'll be using. I try and leave a little bit of the black showing where it'd be naturally shaded so you see a bit more of the detail. That's a field grey painted now. Now to start painting the equipment. Okay, the next colour I'm going to be using is Vallejo German Camouflage Medium Brown. So I'll be using the medium brown to paint the lower half of the water bottle. I'll just leave the black strap and the, the cup at the top black as well. And also the handle of the entrenching tool. I'll paint that medium brown as well. Thank you. 
The next colour that I'm going to be using is Vallejo Khaki. I'm going to be painting the Panzerfaust Khaki. Okay, that's it finished. Right, okay, I'm going to be using Reaper Pure Black. I'm going to be painting the straps and the equipment that needs to be painted black now. So any black will do really. Just carefully paint the black straps on the braces. Should probably use a smaller brush for this job. And any of the straps that have got another colour accidentally painted over them. So on the water bottle, there's a black strap on there. Needs a little bit of black paint over it now. The German entrenching tool also had a black cover over it as well, so that needs to be painted black as well. Got some of the pale brown colour on the gun as well. Or any parts of the gun that are black, paint over them as well. Hello Maggie, have you come to see me? Maggie's just come, come in to have a look. And also on the front of this figure, the ammo pouches at the front, they all need to be painted black as well. They've just been covered with pale brown when they were dry brushing. Yeah, this brush has definitely passed it, I need to get a, a new brush. Because this is the size of brush that I use mostly. I think I might have a, another one somewhere. What happens with brushes, over time they start to split, so you lose that fine point at the end that you need for the detail. So yeah, just tidy in the back bits up at this point, straps and pouches and such like. Way you've gone over another colour onto the parts that you need to be painted black. Right, it's back to Vallejo Leather Brown, and that's going to be for the straps on the guns. That should be that. The next colour that I'm going to be using is Reaper Paints Muddy Brown. This is going to be for the wood parts on the gun. Okay, the paint that I'm going to be using next is Reaper Fair Skin. I'm painting the face, I'll just try and keep some of the black in the eye sockets and around the face. Just where the shadow would be, you know. Right, when the flesh is dry, I like to go over the flesh parts with Reichland Flesh Shade. That's from Games Workshop, so it's like a wash, a brown wash. If you end up with parts of the flesh with too much of the colour, and just get a, a wet brush or a damp brush, I should say. Just take away some of the stain, just so it doesn't dry too dark. Don't forget the hands as well. They need a thin coat of this stain. It just darkens the pale skin a little bit. Yeah, that should do. Yeah, 
The next wash that I'm going to be using is Agrax Earthshade. That's from Gears Workshop as well. I'm going to be using this for the ammo pouches that have been painted German beige. Just adds a little bit of shadow and wear and tear so that the beige isn't too pale. But the next wash that I'm going to be using is Null Oil. That's going to be used for the boots and the pooties, just to darken them up a bit. Also any of the German helmets that have no cover on them, that are just a plain green helmet. I like to put some of the no oil over them as well, just to stop them looking so bright. Just adds a bit of wear and tear and a bit of shading where it's needed. But don't put no oil over the uniform. I tried it and all your hard work of all the camouflage, it gets covered up. It's too dark. So just on the helmet. Helmet and boots and putties. I also like to put some of the null oil over the brass of the machine gun ammunition as well. It just darkens it down a little bit so it's not so bright. Right, and finally I'm going to be using Reaper bleach linen just to go over any tiny details like the eagle on the caps and shoulder epaulets and any other little small details. And then just a final check of all the figures and go around each one, look at all the colours and if there's any little bits that need uh, redoing or bits that you've missed, just go over them to finish the figures off and then it's on to basing then. Yeah, so that's a Waffen-SS 